Hey everyone, welcome back to Hollow Knight. I'm here in Green Path, uh, and we're gonna do this tree. Really out of desperation, if I'm going to be completely honest with you. Uh, this boss, this traitor lord or whatever his name is, is what I would describe as absolutely soul-crushing. Uh, he has an insane run back. He deals two points of damage on all his attacks. You fight him in a absolutely tiny arena. And it's, it's just ridiculous. Uh, did I mention the insane run back? I think I mentioned the insane run back. So yeah, I would pretty safely describe this boss as oh, I'm very low on HP. Why am I so low on HP? As so crushing. My soul has been crushed by this boss because uh, I've attempted him three times before I started recording this episode and I didn't even approach the finish line, i.e. killing him. And, you know, I'm wondering if I'm even, like, bothered that's much easier. If I should be even bothered to kill him because... I don't know if I want to spend... You know, like Hornet... That's That wasn't an optional boss fight. But I, I genuinely don't know if I want to spend... However long it would take for me to kill him. You know, trying to kill him. I really don't know. So that's what I've been contemplating. Welcome back to Hollow Knight, as I said. Uh, that's what's been happening with me. What's going on with you guys? I mean, I've looked him up. I've looked up... Sort of... Tips. Well, actually, can you go in from this way? Yes, you can. Uh, I've looked at, like, tips to kill him, and you just have to play godlike. I mean, the fact that uh, he has a lead-up of some pretty difficult enemies, and he deals two points of damage, again, in an absolutely, absolutely tiny arena, is kind of, you know, grinding my gears a little bit. Uh, but hey, that's all good. I wouldn't mind so much, but, you know, I'm getting, like, uh, Smelter Demon flashbacks from this ROM back. That's my issue. That's my main issue. So I'm gonna go and pick up my corpse. And I realize that I'm very low on HP, and I'm risking a lot here. Or well, whatever. So again, I am very aware of the fact that this dude is optional. Uh, mainly again because I looked up like any suggestions on how to beat him, and there's none. So a part of me almost wants to say "fuck it." Uh, that that was a great move. That was a great move. Luckily, my course is going to be a lot closer now to the to this so i don't know that's how i've been with hollow knight uh kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place part of me kind of just wants to see what happens if i go to the temple or whatever is it just gonna like unlock the final boss and that's it uh, bottom is kind of, kind of curious about that. I haven't looked up how to get the multiple endings. I don't know if I want to look up how to get all the different endings. Because, you know, that's the thing. Like, this is technically a blind playthrough. 
even though you guys have been giving me tips and all, but you know, that's like different. That's like different than if, you know, somebody gives you, that's like, you know, asking a friend for a tip. Because I consider you guys my friends. You better like the video just for that. I'm only kidding, of course. You know what I mean. Uh, fuck it, I'm trying it again. But... See, I almost hate this encounter as much as the boss itself. Uh, but... Looking up, like, what to do specifically, she's very loud. Uh, is a little bit different, you know. Shit, too early. Okay. That was okay. But this motherfucker... damage he deals. This is the best I've done. Shit. I walked into both of them. <sighs> if only, if only the run back wasn't... Like, the worst thing in this game. Uh, I think I would try this guy more. At this stage, I don't really know if I wanna... I don't wanna, like, subject myself. Part of me, as well, that's the other thing I've been considering, is... I posted the first, which is kind of ridiculous, uh, that I first posted the first episode of this game as a playthrough in November, I think. Which is kind of insane. Uh, I'm not gonna beat around the bush. I've also been kind of, you know, wanting to move on to different games a little bit. What I'm saying is part of me wants to finish this game. And, you know, fucking around with all these optional bosses and side areas and fetch quests and all that. Uh, part of me is kind of saying to myself, not that I'm like, you know, pulling a legion or anything. Uh, part of me just wants to say, fuck it and go to the end. We'll get the ending we get and that's it. Who knows, it might be like a choice, you know, like Dark Souls, uh, any of them. Except two, where we get to choose at the end. So you know what? I've made an executive decision. Technically, I'm still the, di the dictator of this channel. Uh, and this channel ain't a democracy. So, I am going to... Try not die. But I'm going back to the start. Maybe once I do a second playthrough, because, I, you know, I, I like playing this game, but, you know, it's different playing it just casually and different recording it. Uh, maybe we'll do, like, a post Hollow Knight episode where I, like, do all the shit I, that I've missed. Of course, it could be that the ending boss is insanely hard. Uh, judging by some of these later game bosses, uh, they did go on to the difficult side. Honestly. Let's go. I don't know if this is closer or Dirtmouth is closer. Probably Dirtmouth is closer. We'll check it in a little bit. Yeah, Dirtmouth is way, way closer. 
And who knows, like, there might be other things we need to do before this. I mean, I just killed the three dreamers. I know that this guy is optional. I.E. This Mantis Lord. Don't know about what else we might need to do. Shut up, phone. I'm curious. Maybe we'll get blocked and it's like, hey, you need to do this, this and this before you can... Before you can progress. It's kind of crazy. It's been a long time since we've been here. Temple of the Black Egg. It reminds me of that disgusting hair egg from Blasphemous. That's like... Blasphemous... Okay, thanks. Blasphemous is, in general, a gross game. But that's like the grossest part of a gross game. This is so cool. This is a lovely game, art style-wise. Wow! I am liking this. Man, they really nailed it. They really, really nailed this game. Oh, we have... It's gonna be a boss fight, boys. Vessel. Though bound, you shall know the state of the world. Hallowness will be whole again. Completion percentage viewable in... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 58. I'll take 58, you know? About 50. I'm happy with that. Fuck it. This is the final boss, isn't it? We're going for it, boys. This could be insanely hard and we might be stuck here. Holy shit, it's us. It's another us. It's an uglier us. He's looking at us. Well, what happens if you dream nail him? Oh, you can't dream nail... Okay. Shit. What am I doing? I am fucked. This is gonna be very hard, I can already tell. This is gonna be very hard. The Hollow Knight, yeah. It's a very long scream. Epic music. Shit. He tricks you. Oh. He has a parry. Uh oh. He goes into that attack quick. I'm making the same mistake as with Hornet. As in... I'm not allowing him to do his little rest period. Because the rest period normally is what allows you to heal. I don't know why I'm talking so much. Okay. <laughs> okay, that deals that deals two points of damage. That doesn't look as difficult as I thought it would be. Uh, maybe there's like a lot more left. Uh, please tell me I don't have to do that chain break every single time. This is gonna be mad annoying. Okay, we don't. Big scream. Big charge. Oh, it cancels. You. The bitch cancels your charge.
I will say it feels suitably epic. Yeah. I swear I'm not getting hit on purpose. Maybe I should try it. Like, I can't, you can't jump over him. Yeah, this isn't like... Oh, you can see it. You can see it. I was just about to say. Yeah, okay. Jump over him more than dodge through. You're not stuck in a tiny arena, which is good. Cool. I mean, this doesn't feel as difficult. It's, you know what's annoying? The, his scream cancels out your uh, charge. You can't be like mad tricky on him. Did I not hit him? Concentrating, by the way. Shit. Fuck. Damn it. I thought I could get out of there, but I couldn't in time. All right. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll still hold out that this feels nowhere near as difficult as some of these other bosses we've been facing. Uh, but I don't know. Hornet? Hornet? This dude is nothing compared to Hornet. Okay, I've already lost quite a bit of HP. Continue to lose HP. His jump is a bitch. Okay.
Why am I so close to death? He gets faster as things go along. He definitely gets faster. Alright. I think we'll give this one or two more attempts and then I'll start I'll start some editing tricks. It's weird because I saw that this doesn't feel difficult. Yet I'm still dying like a bitch. Oh yeah, I'm gonna heal in your face. Walked into it. Damn it. Okay, here we go. I swear I'm trying to like... I'm not getting hit on purpose. Man, that was quick. I'll take it. Man, that never works. I don't think I've hit him with a charge attack. He really knows how to fake out the... the slam down. And, you know, the... The not slam down. That makes no sense. That and that. What is he doing? He's committing Sudoku. He just committed Sudoku. What the fuck is he doing? I don't know what the hell just happened there. 
Whoa, whoa. He's freaking out. Ah, no. Shit. This boss fight is longer than I thought. I'll keep that attempt in. Uh, okay. Okay. I see you, game. Okay, so I've figured out several things. The number one thing I've figured out is that this boss fight, for me, falls apart as soon as I get hit by the uh, geyser attack. I don't know what else to call it. Okay, this is a terrible attempt. As soon as I get... okay. As soon as I get hit by that stupid geyser attack, like, shit is over. Uh, because it deals two points of damage. Of damage. And it puts you at such a... massive health deficit that it's, like, difficult to... come back from Oh, you can knock him out of it. That's an interesting bit of knowledge. Of course that hit me. Okay, here comes freak out mode. Bullet hell mode. Geyser, I wasn't paying attention. Shit. Oh, he has more? I feel like I dealt. He's dead. 
I was just about to say, I feel like I've dealt so much damage to him at this point. Do I have to hit him? Focus. Focus. This is Estus basically, ain't it? Holy shit. This is the link, the fire ending, ain't it? <coughs> Excuse me. That was a disgusting burp. Oh, look at him. <laughs> he's like... <laughs> oh, he's gonna become... I think I know what happened. We like absorbed the thing. The corruption or whatever. I'm a lore master, I can figure this out. Naisu. This is the Link the Fire ending, isn't it? Did I just beat the game? I just beat the game. The Hollow Knight. Hey, gold trophy. We gotta do this ending one of these days. <laughs> well, I mean... It's the end of the game. Yeah, I kinda had a feeling. I mean, again... I loved, loved, loved this game. If you were watching me play it, you know that I'm loving this game. This is an excellent, excellent game. And again, I, as I've expressed many times, thank you for everyone who kind of pushed me uh, to play this game and recommended it. Uh, however, it is time to move on to other things. Uh, you know, it's just, you know, you play a game long enough, especially like recorded, you want to move on to different things. This game, like 9 out of 10 for me. Uh, maybe even a 10 out of 10. Great atmosphere. The only reason I think I cannot give this game 10 out of 10 is because, like, thematically and all that, it is very derivative of Dark Souls, even down to, like, the area names. But, you know, it's, it's truly an excellent, excellent game, and I recommend everyone pick it up because it's, like, dirt cheap with all the expansions, too. Uh, that's pretty much all I can say. This is This is a great game. Probably one of the best uh, to the Metroidvania, Dark Souls type games I've played. There's a lot of these. Uh, there's a lot of these types of games. And this one stands above because of its uh, kind of atmosphere. And the gameplay as well. The gameplay is extremely solid. I like the, I like the healing spell uh, charge mechanic that they got going on. I think it's very interesting. It's probably one of the more interesting takes on the Dark Souls healing system instead of just, you know, having a consumable and not call it Estus. So yeah, excellent game. I'm 100% gonna play this on my own more because I want to explore and make like a spell build. Apparently you can do that in this game, focus more on uh, like magic and shit. So I want to try. I thought that was Dick Van Dyke for a second. I was like, damn, he did this game as well. Cool. Next playthrough. Next playthrough is going to be a surprise, I think. But you guys will like it. I figured this one out. I wanted to play this game for a long time, so it's going to start sometime next week. Uh, probably Thursday, yeah, because I'm streaming on... Jesus, this game had a lot of backers. I'm streaming on Monday, Wednesday, and there's a special video coming on Tuesday. So, yeah. Thank you. I did enjoy Hollow Knight. Thanks, Team Cherry. Bring out the sequel, please, with Hornet, because I kind of want to play that. Um, is he going to take his helmet off like Samus? 21 hours? Jesus. That's kind of long for 51%. 58%. Steel Soul mode. No shade, no reviving. Death is permanent. Nice. I like that. Ain't no way in hell I'm ever going to be able to do that. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for all the likes, and hope you enjoyed this playthrough, because I certainly did. I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.